what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here today and going over melissa barrera and the topic surrounding hope of her returning not by everybody but those of us who actually wanted to see sam's story be continued in another chapter the chances of melissa barrera returning to scream 7 seem to be growing more and more unlikely and probably just honestly dead at this point the attempts to blacklist and make an example out of Melissa Barrera continue as I expected and as I'm sure she expected too, because she's the one who works in the business, not me. Variety put out a new report on her today that's been picked up by Discussing Film, Pop Base, and a few other news outlets I've seen share this on X. Now, Melissa Barrera, as the article was written like, Melissa Barrera is once again under fire over a series of new social media posts involving the israeli gaza conflict prompting her representatives at wme and sugar sugar 23 to explore dropping the actress as a client the in the heights and screen star earlier this week posted a link in her instagram bio that directed her followers to donate money to the united nations relief and works agency for palestine refugees in the near east to benefit all the martyrs in gaza and the west bank the plea was deemed particularly incendiary given that Barrera posted the link one day after the Biden administration and several other countries halted aid to the organization in the wake of explosive allegations that 12 UNRWA staffers directly participated in the October 7th terror attacks in Israel including two who took part in kidnappings 10 percent of the agency's Gaza staff allegedly have ties to Hamas and another Islamic militant group that the U.S. has designated as a terrorist organization. On January 28th, the U.S. announced its decision to freeze all money to the group. Barrera's post quickly made the rounds across the industry and within WME, which consulted with outside advisors on the best approach to fire her, given that such a break could spark backlash. A WME rep denied the outside advisors were enlisted. Sources say the agency and her management company, Sugar 23, were posed or were poised to drop her as a client. But on Thursday, both decided to reverse course for now. So see, it's that for now part to me that still makes me very worried about her future in Hollywood. It says WME and Sugar 23 declined comment. First of all, I think this will directly impact the marketing for all of her upcoming projects, especially the biggest one from Universal, which is Abigail. As in, I think Melissa is not going to be allowed to lead press junkets and could be hidden from certain press events even. Your Monster, which is another project she has coming out, which I've heard she does an amazing job in. Your Monster could struggle to find U.S. distribution because it just debuted at Sundance and it still has not found a distribution deal. Or all the potential distribution deals could be brought into question potentially uh it's just a shame to me i think it's a shame but it's not shocking at all either with how i pay attention to how hollywood operates this is not shocking if these things unfold the way that they do because hollywood is always going to be a business first and foremost i do find this very unfortunate for her i also no longer see any chance of melissa barrera being part of scream 7 or spyglass continuing to try to repair anything with her i predict other parties that associated with her in the past or present will probably try to start distancing themselves from her going forward if they haven't already started doing so melissa is going to stand on what she believes in and i'm very glad to see someone like that in the industry however she seems also very prepared for an unfortunate inevitable because i do think that someone who again me I don't find her to be mid, as some put it. I think she has a lot of potential in what I see from her. I've seen some very solid, good performances from her and from someone like me who has seen far more mid, as some people again like to refer to her as, far more mid and low tier content in regards to acting if you watch movies like jeepers creepers 4 and anything on the effing sci-fi channel <laughs> melissa barrera is leaps and bounds better she is a solid actress in my opinion some stuff i've seen of her yes is better than others i can admit that i'm not gonna say everything i've seen from her has been perfect but she is not a terrible actress by any means so it's a shame that it seems like this is how her career will end because I think Hollywood is going to push her out. 
I think Hollywood is going to push her out. But she should continue to stand her ground. She can continue to speak on what she wants to speak on. Stand on business. Do you. And the pieces will fall where they may. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.